You want to get perfect abs, do abs every day, and nothing's being shown. I don't have a six pack, I don't have an eight pack. Uh, the next person over there, that's bullshit. They, they have abs, I never seem to do abs in the gym. And that's perfectly fine. Why is that perfectly fine? You're built differently than they are. Everybody's built differently. You know, in my case, having abs is something that I want to have. I wish I had six pack abs to show in a video to say, oh look, you can do this to get six pack abs, get eight pack abs. But my body's just built differently. I hold a lot of weight in my midsection. So how am I trying, how am I currently trying to counteract that? I just continually try to get my body fat down. And that's all you can do. All you can do is try, at least, at least try. If you go to the gym every day and you do abs every day, but yet you go home and you completely you know, destroy bags of chips and chocolate and all that stuff. Your body fat percentage is going to stay up. If your body fat stays up, covers your muscles, no muscles are shown, therefore no abs are shown. It's simple. It, it's a simple, uh, simple logic that, you know, unfortunately when you, when you watch these, you know, how-to on videos and buy this DVD and buy this set of whatever, you'll get abs in, in uh, 30 days. You can, your ab muscles can, you know, you can make your ab muscles your strongest point, but if the body fat's still high, you're not gonna see anything. And that goes for every part of your body. You know, you want huge ass arms, you get huge arms, no muscle definition is shown. Why? Your body fat's too high. So it's something you have to work on. You, know, you work on it with cardio. The problem is that a lot of people think if I just do cardio, my muscles will show. If I just go into a calorie deficit and do cardio, my muscles will show. Maybe that might work for you, but if it hasn't worked so far, chances are it's not going to work. You have to adjust your workout and your eating to account for that. So, burn calories, eat calories, get your metabolism going. Don't forget, the more you eat, in, in a healthy sense, the more you eat, the better your metabolism is going to be. The better your metabolism is going to be, the more you're going to burn fat. So you burn fat, and you're still feeding your muscles, things will start to show. It takes time, you have to just keep working on it. Simple. Again, I say simple, but I still don't have abs to show. The next person might have abs to show. Abs are just not my strong point. So that's, I mean, that's, that's it. I mean, you can go, go to the gym all day and do abs. You can do abs every day. You can do abs right now as you're watching this video or listening to this video all you want. If your body fat's still high, your abs won't show. Unless your body's built in a way that your abs will show no matter what your body fat is. In which case, you're the luckiest person in the world, and I wish you all the best. In my case, that's not how it works. In my case, if I want muscles to show, I have to keep my body fat down. When you look at somebody on the internet, you look at somebody on the beach, and they have you know, abs showing, it's because they have less fat around that area. You're not gonna burn the fat off in that area by doing crunches and by doing sit-ups and all this other stuff. What you eat helps you burn fat. When you're doing your cardio, it helps you burn fat. When you're lifting, it helps you burn fat. You can't target the fat areas around your stomach by just doing sit-ups all